Okay, there it is. Best. Hi guys, I'm back again with the Cool Wheel Skateboard, but this time I'm doing still vlog four, but this is part B, I suppose, essentially. Part... Part B. This is gonna be all about today, the Cool Wheel Power, Strength and Endurance Test. So the first video I did when I went around the harbour was an endurance test. It was like just how far I could go, just cruising along and how long the batteries last and how long this thing would go if you lived in a flat city and you wanted to go and, and ride. So that was great. It was incredible with the, you know, the long distance battery test. Today it was all about power, hill climbs and being able to actually, you know, climb hills with this with this with a skateboard. Now there's no point getting this if you can't climb any sort of hills in Sydney or in, in suburb areas. I mean we're not talking about massive hills but hills that you can actually want to climb. So um, this is what we're looking at today. 30 degrees. Okay now they say on the actual website this will do 25 gradient or even maybe 30. Um, I found that did it quite easily with my weight, 92 kilos. So um, I think what we need to do is just now quickly talk about the two hills. Uh, the first hill was in the city. Uh, Sydney's got a fairly undulating type topography and you need to sort of um, find the steepest hills. And the one I found was the bottom of the sort of um, circular key going towards Chifley Square towards the, the CBD area. And that was about yeah, it was probably around about that, about 30 degrees. So you'll see now, I'll take you the footage of that where I take it up that hill on a full battery. The conditions of that test were my weight, 92 kilos. Uh, it was um, a warm day, 36 degrees, and it was a fully charged battery and no real run up, just a start, a start button. So we might just now go to that quick footage to show you the gradient and and again, I'm not wearing a helmet, and please don't put a comments. I am getting a helmet, it's on its way from China, and that will be a whole new vlog about a special helmet that looks like a baseball cap that's really a helmet. Uh, anyway, right, we'll go to the, the video. Heading down to uh, the ferry at Manly to get the ferry across to the city. We're testing it out very easy without any problem whatsoever. So it's it's pretty cool. This thing really gets along. So as you can see, I'm making the whole hill without any problem whatsoever. In fact, I stopped at halfway. Okay, we're at the top of the hill now. Okay, here we are, at the top of the hill, and that's what I just did. So as you can see, that's it's about. 20% gradient, maybe, maybe a little bit less. Uh, did it with ease, no problem at all. Thank you. As you can see, it did it. And it did it effortlessly. It did it without any problem at all. Now, what's important to understand is that along that test, I, for some reason, my, my thumb flipped off the controller. As you can see, they're, they're, quite, they're quite small and light, and it flipped off. So halfway up that hill, it actually stopped. Uh, and re-went again. So that was like a really, really, really powerful test for it and it still maintained the top of the hill. Uh, I went around the corner up a footpath again and it was just smooth up at more vertical probably area and this thing just is like a tank. It just goes. For two, for two hub motors that are only 250 watt, this thing has got an enormous amount of um, centrifugal force and power. So good work to the guys at Cool Wheel. That's really good. Um, the next footage I'll throw you to is a hill in the suburbs and actually in my street and this hill is a bit steeper again and um, you'll find this has been tested after having the, the cool wheel out all day and riding through the botanical gardens and this is now at the end of the day where I've sort of got only about, well I still had three bars, um, maybe four going to three bars and that's that. So we'll go to this footage now. And as a bonus for you guys, I've got something here which is pretty exciting. It's called a temperature 
gauge laser tester and I'm actually going to test the hub wheels at the end of the ride. Now Jason Potter from Inertion Skateboards has done this and he's come up with some really bad results some of these Chinese hubs that are really pathetically made and they don't have any heat uh, dissipation. They get to 78 and 80 degrees on the hubs and the bearings. Um, let's see what this will do with our cool wheel. We'll go up this hill and we won't stop at this time, we'll just go the whole way up and then we'll test it with the temperature gauge at the outside bearings, inside bearings and the outside wheel. So let's go to that footage right now. Here we are, this is the hill. Now, it doesn't look very steep here but you can see it's, it's quite a decent hill. I'm going to test it from, uh, from this point here. You can see this car coming down, how, um, how steep it kind of is. Heat it up, no problem. No problem at all. Top of the hill. Okay. Now I'll just oh bush turkey, look at that. In the city, in the suburb. I'll quickly just uh, temperature gauge this now. Okay. Well I got you here. Right, I'll turn it on, there's my temperature, and we'll test the inside, 33 degrees, we'll test the outside, 32 degrees, the bearing is 33 degrees, as you can see, and the inside bearing is only 35 degrees so that's that's insane okay do they feel hot not even hot at all not even one bit hot so that's the hill you can see it's quite a decent hill so that's 10 out of 10 for, for my liking it's incredible well there you go um, second hill climb test today Tech, textbook perfect great fantastic you're back what do you think to that this thing is dead accurate and um, the results were astounding to have the temperature on the wheel the hubs and the outside hub 32 and 34 degrees and 28 it wasn't even warm well, not that one the other one in the back there um, it wasn't even warm it wasn't, it wasn't hot but it wasn't even warm this was just incredible so um, the designers at Cool Wheel have got an incredibly involved desk that can obviously, without getting too technical, they can adjust the current that's going into the load at any point in time to make sure it you know, d dissipates the heat correctly. And that's what these wheels f fail on. They fail on when they get too hot and they burn, and like any motor, it just burns. So um, that was a great result. I was really, really impressed with the fact that after that, uh, that ride the wheels weren't even warm so that was a very strong test on, on, on the conditions so I think at the end of the day now in terms of the strength of hill climbing this thing is like a tank it just takes it just does it no problem there at all so uh, we're now going to move on to the power the power of this thing is just incredible I haven't used the seven button switch for the hyperdrive uh, and I think that can be used at a point where the battery gets to 50%. You can actually put that into hyperdrive and then you'll get sort of full power uh, back with a half battery level, which is, that's the way of tweeting the power on this. But if you're going on a straight area and a straight flat, I wouldn't worry about it at all. So um, that's uh, the test on, on, on the sort of power endurance and hill climbs of the cool wheel. Um, and just recapping the battery in this is not 100 and I think I said 26 watt hours, it's 156 watt hours, still within the limit of the uh, Air Nautical uh, F, FCA. They can still take these batteries on board. 
Um, so uh, that is one of the great aspects of, of, of this particular board. You can pull the battery out as well. Um, the wheels are made of good quality American urethane. They're good soft 83s. They're good for road. Uh, the board is actually made of a solid uh, bam. It's, it's actually not bamboo, it's actually maple, Canadian maple ply. It doesn't have a lot of flex, which actually is good, but on a long board you, want, you don't want a lot of flex. You want to be able to just pretty much um, cruise with that sort of secure, solid feeling of, of non-dampering. Um, so look, uh, I think without a doubt, it's now passed again the test of strength, power, and endurance. So with that, I would give it actually 9.2 out of 10. So 9.2 stars out of 10 for this because I feel that you, you couldn't get any better with hub wheels and hub motors on my weight on that particular hill, 30 degrees. It was incredible. So, yeah, pretty amazing. And also another thing, I've got a little bit of another little hint for you guys, something that's really important. If you're ever riding a skateboard, and it gets dark, it gets sort of like a little bit on dusk. Um, I, I am wearing a helmet and I'll talk about that in the next vlog, the final vlog, which will be part C, which is gonna be speed. So it'll be all about how fast this thing goes. You'll see it at 42 kilometers, probably 45 kilometers an hour, I'll clock it. You'll see the, the incredible speed this thing has um, on the next part three C of this um, vlog four about the cool wheel. So I'll cover then the distance test, the battery, I'll cover the endurance, power and strength and I'll cover lastly the speed. And that's all you know, just the speed, nothing else. Um, this is a great little thing I just want to show you guys. I got this from Ikea. Again, I'm not affiliated with Ikea. I'm not affiliated with Cool Wheel. I got nothing out of this. This is just for you guys as information because I found it incredible. I've seen guys online wear fluoro vests when they go out and they wear bright colored lights and hats and whatever. This is from Ikea. Now if you can see that, that's just, it's a vest. It's a little skinny, sort of like vest that goes over you with reflector. Um, uh, reflector material and it's only I think $15 um, I haven't even opened it before so let's have a look well actually it folds out of the bag so it's, it's a technique it's like a Rubik's Cube you take it out and fold it out and it all comes out of the bag like, like that there we go and basically you wear that when you go riding, it it really is very unobtrusive. You can't see it. It just sits over you, and that is full reflector on lights, on headlights. Um, these are fifteen dollars IKEA. Brilliant to wear, um, and if you're wearing that, you just will reflect like a bright, a bright, uh, bright street light. You know, like those those reflecting lights on there. Right. That's it, it's on. It's safe. Okay, I look like I'm from Holland with some weird sort of braces, but the point is, it works. It'll reflect light and it's gonna give you a lot of protection and um, a, a must if you're riding at night, okay? Um, so finally, I want you to just uh, have a quick look at the, the power of this, um, this board because I haven't actually shown, this people said to me, you haven't actually shown the speed of this thing. So here we go, ready? One, two, this is just normal, okay? See, even just throws a board around the, with the centrifugal force. It's insane. So much power. So guys, until next time, for point three, part C, whatever you want to call it, it'll be the speed test. And that'll sum up the whole review of the board. And um, I will go through some really fantastic, cool set of helmets that you can actually um, uh, you can you can wear. And I've got some good ideas about uh, getting you guys to wear helmets. Okay, till next time. Safe skating. Happy skating. <laughs>